It is exciting to conduct your own opera, yes, but um, I, uh, for me, I would, I would rather sit and enjoy the opera um, and watch somebody else conduct it, but I do realize that uh, you can't have it both ways. And so given the choice, I would prefer to conduct because obviously um, you can have things just how you want them. There's no one else to blame. And so uh, if the music doesn't work, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's my fault as a conductor or as a composer or whatever. I get the blame either way. So it, it, it's, it's thrilling to conduct your own pieces, yes. It's a huge challenge running an opera. It's a tremendous amount of work. And uh, first of all, you have to, um, I write everything by hand and then it gets translated into print by copyists because I do it so fast that way. I can't do it as quickly on the computer. Um, and uh, when you write to a libretto like John Morell's librettos, which are so beautifully crafted for the operatic composer, and when you're working with a director like Ke Kelly Robinson, you're dealing with people who have a, a profound sense of dramatically what's possible on the operatic s stage. When I first read the story, I was so captivated by the drama of it and the tragedy at the end of it that um, I almost, well, I didn't realize at all that Sandy Keith actually had a very likable side. Uh, the, the contrast between um, good and evil, between um, uh, funny and tragic, and Sandy Keith embodied so many of these things that he became the very stuff of opera pretty quickly. And an orchestra is a wonderful palette. It's like an artist's palette. You can just splash colors all over the place. People are very used to hearing um, modern orchestral colors, but not modern vocal colors, oddly enough. And uh, I think my piece actually will have very traditional vocal colors, but a very modern palette, the kind of um, uh, orchestral palette that you would hear in um, almost any movie score these days. Uh, it, but it's the human voice, I think, that people uh, can connect with. Um, my particular style of language is not, um, although it's polytonal, let's say sometimes you have lots of keys going on at once, and although I use, say, tonal effects and eleatoric effects as well, um, essentially uh, it's taking traditional musical language and using it in a very um, rhythmic and um, harmonic driven way. So uh, in terms of this opera project, in choosing the story of Sandy Keith, and in choosing to write an opera at all, um, and in choosing to write an opera um, with the kind of forces that we have, um, it's not, uh, people needn't be afraid, it's not uh, so avant-garde that uh, I want to blow people out of their chairs. In fact, what I want to do is to move people and to, uh, in particular, to have us looking not just at Sandy Keith, but at the two women uh, that, whose lives he affected. I think how often do you hear a piece of music and think, well, that is how I feel, or that is how I'm um, aspiring to, towards, or, or this piece of music inspires me. Um, we think about these sorts of things when we hear works of music, and I think uh, the continual creation of new music is something that actually is about the continual, uh, the continuity of the human race in, in so many ways. I think music is uh, it's a wonderful art form. It's, it's, uh, all embracing, it's a good news story, and uh, uh, and it articulates that um, inner voice, which really is what we're all about as human beings.